Have you ever wanted to publish your own book, or textbook perhaps? What if the book was designed for a niche market that wouldn't warrant paying for a company to help you publish the book? You want something simple, but easy for your readers to access. Maybe you are a professor, or in my case, a teacher, who wants to create a custom book for their students. I have heard that it was easy to self-publish to Kindle. I decided to give it a try and see what it took to get a book published on a Kindle. I found out it was very simple. Here are 10 steps to publishing your own book on a Kindle. The first step is writing the book. I used Microsoft Word. The second step is to turn the book into a PDF. The third step is to download and install the free Kindle Textbook Creator software. The fourth step is to add your PDF to the software. The fifth step is to set up a table of contents for your book inside of Kindle. The sixth step is to add audio to your text. This is optional, but I highly recommend it. It allows greater access to your book. The seventh step is to preview and test everything. The eighth step is to package or finalize your ebook, turn it into a KPF file so that you can upload it. The ninth step is to sign up for Kindle Direct Publishing, upload your KPF file, then you need to create a cover for it and upload your cover. If you don't already have one, there's software online that will help you create your own cover. Then you need to market and promote your book. It can be free or paid. If you're giving it to your students, I recommend it be free because hey, students don't have a lot of money. So let me go through these steps with you. The first step that I did is I wrote the book. Well, in this case, because I was trying this out, I actually found a hundred year old book, which is one of my absolute favorite books. And that book is Tom Swift and his electric runabout or the speediest car on the road. The reason I chose this book is because it is one of my favorite books. It's a great book to learn about electricity. I decided to abridge, update, and add thought-provoking STEM questions to this book. I have also added in various graphs, charts, and teaching aids to help the reader better understand the content and think about how they can build a better electric vehicle today. So my first step was done. The book was written. The second step I needed to turn the book into a PDF. That's pretty simple. I can simply go up to File, Save As. I'm going to give this name Demo Book. I can choose to change this to a PDF. It has to be a PDF to upload. So I'm going to go ahead and save my PDF. Once my PDF is saved, I move on to step number three you need to download the Kindle textbook creator. It's still in beta at the time of this video. It's a free program and it's available for both Windows and Mac. Go ahead and download and install the version that you need. Once you have the Kindle textbook creator installed on your computer, you can go ahead and begin. Before I begin to create a new textbook, I want to show you my existing textbook. I click open existing textbook and I load this in here and here you can see the same Word document that I turned into a PDF is loaded in here. If I go through each of the pages, I can see the top of my page has a link into the table of contents. This is the prologue. If I move to chapter one, this page has chapter one, Tom hopes for a prize. This is also included in the table of contents. This will allow the reader to tap on the table of contents to navigate to specific chapters. I have also added in audio for this book. The audio for this book comes from LibriVox.org, a website that is dedicated to sharing books in the public domain and audio recordings. I have created an MP3 file for each chapter so that the reader can either read or listen to the contents of the book. So this is my finished book. Let me show you how I got to this point. I want to create a new textbook from file. I need to find the PDF that I have created, in this case demo book. I click open. It loads this file in. Make sure that once you begin, you save early and you save often, just in case something crashes. Now I need to go on to step number five, which is set up the table of contents. I want to include certain pages into the table of contents. I already have a published table of contents. I don't need that included, but I have a prologue. I would like to include this into my table of contents. I simply click on 
the checkbox to include page and table of contents and I give it a title. In this case, prologue. And I can scroll down to the beginning of chapter one. I would like this to be in the table of contents as well. So I call it chapter one. Tom hopes for a prize. This will now be included in the table of contents. I would then go through and proceed to add each chapter to the table of contents. I would also like to add in audio for this chapter. To add in audio, I simply click on the insert and notice it gives me a couple of options. I can add in a movie from a file, audio from file, a picture from file, or other pages from a PDF. In this case, I just want to add in audio. I am going to choose the audio for this chapter. I have labeled my MP3 files according to the chapter that they correspond to. I select the correct one, I click open, and now I can place the icon where I want it to be. I'm going to place my icon at the top near the title. That way, a reader can see if the chapter has audio included. When you have that selected, it gives you a couple of options. They have the option to just play, pause, or see a full player where there's a pop-up window. I like to have a full player in this case. You can have the appearance invisible or an icon button. I want the reader to be able to see that there's an icon that they can click on to hear. I should give this a title as well. I could give it a short description, but that's optional. The alternate text is going to take my title. That way, if somebody's using a screen reader, they can read that there's an audio link right there. Once you have added in all the audio and you have updated your table of contents, you can go through and click on the preview. It brings up a preview window allowing you to preview. Now the audio is only available on Amazon devices. It is not available if you have Kindle for an iPad. In this case, I will keep it on an Amazon device. Once I have previewed and everything looks how I want it to look, I can go ahead and close out of this preview. We have previewed and tested everything in step seven. Once you are done previewing and everything is set up, you're going to click on package. When you click on package, it's going to ask you where to save the package. Once you have saved your package, it will tell you to upload your file for distribution in the Kindle store. Independent authors can upload their titles using the Kindle Direct Publishing website, which is step number nine. You simply create a Kindle Direct Publishing account, you log in, add the content, create a cover, or use their online cover creator. In this case, I decided to try out their online cover creator and created this cover. You can also create your own cover inside of Photoshop or other graphics program and upload it as well. Add a description, keywords, and categories to tell your readers what your book is about and help them find it on Amazon. You can also get an ISBN number to publish your paperback if you would like to print this as well. Once you have done this, you can upload it, set a price, or distribute it for free. Then your goal is to promote and advertise. That's step number 10. To review, it's not that difficult to self-publish a book to Kindle. It's simple. All you have to do is follow the 10 steps. Write the book. Turn the book into a PDF. Download and install the free Kindle Textbook Creator software. Add your PDF to the software. Set up the table of contents. Add audio to your text. Preview and test everything. Package or finalize your ebook. Sign up for Kindle Direct Publishing and upload your KPF file. Create a cover for it. Market and promote your book. It can be free or paid. Following these simple steps, you too can create your own books on Kindle. There are many other options, but for a free, simple version, I'm very impressed with what you can do with Kindle Direct Publishing and using the Kindle Book Creator. Best of luck publishing your first book to Kindle. If you've liked this video, please like it, share it with your friends and colleagues, or add comments below. If you would like to see more tutorial videos on how to use technology, please visit sterlingteaches.com or subscribe to the Sterling Teaches YouTube channel. Have a great day!